Outdoors Club is one of the many clubs in Cedar Shoals. The club is run by Miss Chandler, Miss Gordon, and Miss Moore. All three of them love the environment, and through Outdoors Club, allow students to learn more about it and enjoy as well. Outdoors Club does many different things involving the environment, which can all range from helping and clearing around Cedar and Athens, going to outdoor heavy areas around Athens, such as the Botanical Gardens, and much more. Outdoors Club meets every Thursday for anyone looking to join. What is your favorite thing about Outdoors Club? My favorite thing about Outdoors Club is it takes me out of my comfort zone and what I'm used to, um, used to being in the city. That we can be outside mostly every time, just hiking in the woods, instead of being in a classroom all locked up like in. I really like being able to like interact with our environment outside of school because like we have the rain garden at school which is fine but um, there's a lot of really cool nature in Athens like the botanical gardens and I like being able to go and see that. I love getting out there with kids and seeing them explore nature for the first time. See their eyes light up with that curiosity of the world and like the diversity we have in our planet and all it has to offer. Do you feel that school can get in the way of outdoors club? If there was one thing I would change, I think it would be our limits because I feel that we are limited to only a few certain things and we can't do as many field trips and outings as we might like. Um, no, not really. I mean, like, I guess I'd like to be able to go and do outdoor stuff like during school, like as field trips, but I also understand it's like not a class. So the school um, has been really supportive of our project and really supportive of the STEM concept that we're teaching, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And that's what we're using in Outdoor Club and also in our work in the community garden. Um, Ms. Veritek has been supportive the whole way. She's been eager to have the Athens Land Trust volunteer come in and to teach our students in these new innovative ways. Do you feel that Ms. Chandler, Ms. Gordon, and Ms. Moore have done a good job of managing Outdoors Club? Yeah, I think they are. I mean, Ms. Chandler is awesome. She knows her stuff when it comes to like hiking and kayaking and stuff. Um, I feel like they've done a really good job with uh, taking in our input and having us go places that we actually want to go. Who are the people who sponsor Outdoors Club? So we've had a couple members of the community who've been really eager to help us out. Um, for example, we went to Lowe's and they were um, so happy to hear about the projects we were doing and what we are getting involved in that they said buy $100 worth of anything. So we took that money to buy tools that help us work in the garden that we're building for the school. Um, and then James Greenhouse is a local greenhouse that's been very great about donating dirt to us. Um, like really great dirt that's going to really help grow um, solid, nutritious foods. And, you know, some random materials. Um, also, Athens Land Trust is a community organization that does education outreach for um, like food justice and teaching about farms and education in schools and they've sent a volunteer to help us and they've been great about giving us materials and education and helping work with the students. What are some of your thoughts on how the environment is being treated by people? It's very devastating how us humans are killing everything that's around us that made us here in the first place. I mean, climate change obviously exists if you look at scientific studies and I think that's sort of part of Outdoors Club is appreciating nature while we still have it because <laughs> things are kind of going downhill right now. I don't want to say deteriorating but being affected and it will impact us in the long run. Right now it may seem like something really far removed but the changes happening in our environment which are a direct result of our human impact on the world um, are going to affect our life sooner or later and if we don't make these changes to reduce pollution, reduce our carbon footprint. We do a lot that we can change if we really try. Do you think Outdoors Club is suited for everyone? Um, I think it's a perfect club for anybody who already loves working outside or um, 
learning about plants or learning about science, technology, engineering, math. It's already perfectly set up for that. We like to go hiking or camping. But even if you're not, even if you're afraid to, even if you have no experience, just come and give it a chance once. Yeah, and it's a fun way to get outside, get some sun in your skin, like instead of being locked up and just being all dark and gloomy, just go outside and take a breath. I would recommend it to people who are looking to go outside of their comfort zone, anyone who likes nature, someone who likes gardening or farming. Okay. So, Outdoor Club, we are open to anybody who wants to come in. And if you hate nature and you hate being outside and you hate bugs, like, please come. Give us a chance because I want to show you how beautiful it can be to be outside and connect with nature. The world won't change until we do.